So tell me a little bit about your life. When did you come to? Uh, I come to Israel uh, 14 years ago with a big aliyah. And the first uh, 40 years I, I, I lived in the in Soviet Union. I was Soviet composer. Uh, in the Soviet Union composer, a member of Soviet Union composer. And uh, that was uh, not uh, easy uh, to begin a new life uh, in a new country. Uh, for example, in Russia, I, all my life I am a teacher. I teach in music, teach in harmony, such as uh, composition, arrangement. And I, work, I was a lecturer in the university, yeah. in academic. And when I was, there was a very good uh, joy. Uh, when I went to Israel, in the same time, in the same day, there were uh, 10,000 immigrants in the same day. Mm. And there was a joy. If some immigrants go out from uh, the plane and he does not uh, have uh, violin in the time, surely he is pianist. Or a conductor. Or conductor. And that, that was very out. difficult uh, <laughs> in the there. But, uh, and uh, so uh, I began to, uh, like a uh, school teacher of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, began to, to, to teach uh, students in conservatory. And uh, I, I think that uh, it's okay if I teach any medicine in my son. Uh, he's, he's satisfied with he's satisfied with his uh, his fate. His fate, yeah. yes. Because, because his uh, life. I can't uh, to write uh, Jewish music in Russia. Right. I all my child uh, years was in Ukraine in strong conditioning. Strong. I can't uh, learn music in Kiev because uh, Jew. I, I went to Russia. Music in, in academia, and uh, if somebody in Soviet composer was in Russia, uh, was composed uh, a piece like my Kaddish, he was in, uh, the name uh, Moldav Rhapsodia in style of Moldova, mm. uh, uh, not Jewish. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, that's why I'm saying that I, uh, I have not. Uh, Composition that I write and I want to, to, to listen to it. Till now, my music is uh, not a direct mission. He says he doesn't need to push his music forward, it, it speaks for itself and people like 